most of you have seen uh, Governor Inslee's new mask mandate for everyone in public places. Uh, and is anyone else just a little disheartened that we have another mask mandate? Uh, I, didn't, I don't think anyone's like overjoyed about wearing masks, right? Uh, like no one's excited about this. And as I thought back, because this isn't our first mask mandate, this is our, you know, we've been around the block before. Uh, so I was thinking back to how the church responded the first time. And uh, to be honest, a, a lot of people, when masks were mandated, stopped coming to church. And they let a piece of paper stop them from coming to worship, learn, and love each other. Uh, and I want to go, how, how do we respond differently? Because look, friends, we all have different political ideas, don't we? There's people on the left here and there's people on the right. And we're not trying to focus on those things. We're trying to focus on Jesus. We're trying to stay centered on Jesus and not let other things high center us. And so how do we as Christians not get hung up on the left or hung up on the right? How do we walk the middle road that Jesus calls us to this time? That's what I want to figure out. I want to figure out how do we respond biblically? Not how do we respond, respond as the right, as Republicans or the left as Democrats. How do we respond biblically? I don't want our philosophical or political ideology to influence our faith. I want our faith to influence our philosophical and political ideology. And so how do we let the Bible lead us through this moment? What does the word have to say? So as we look through the word, uh, there's so much about life and how to live it, but interestingly, there's not anything about masks. So what are we to do? Um, you know, Here's the, here's the stance that we're going to take, and we know not everyone is going to agree with this, but next week, starting next week, whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated, we're going to mask up here uh, because we want to continue to be a community where people can come and be safe to come and feel loved no matter what. And uh, we believe that there's some biblical grounds for that. In Romans 13, it tells us to, that we're to obey the governing authorities. And we're going to keep coming back to the word each time there's a mandate or whatever, and we're going to say, God, is this what you have for us? Is this how we should line up? And uh, so, again, I want us to stay centered on Jesus. I don't want us to get caught up in such political polarization that we lose focus on who he is. So next week, here's what I'm asking. I'm asking that you would wear your mask, and if you don't like it, welcome to the club. <laughs> but that we would suffer together. Because Christ has called us not just to be uh, co-victors with him, but co-sufferers with him. And this is a moment where we can suffer with each other, suffer with Christ, and because of that, I believe we'll be more tightly knit together. I believe Jesus will be with us, and I believe that he will be glorified. We will be seeing the kingdom come to earth in our midst when we would just unite around Jesus and not let other political issues divide us. So that's where we're going to be next week. I pray that you will be with us. And uh, here's, here's my last charge. As Christians, our hope is in the return of Jesus. And yet, we're all wishing for the return of normal, aren't we? Aren't we? We, we? How many times have we said, I wish this thing would just be over. I can't wait for this to end. But friends, we were bemoaning about the bad state of normal before all of this happened as Christians. And now we're wishing it back? No, no, no. We want God to do a new thing in us. We are hoping for the return of Jesus where he will come and make all things right, not just COVID ended. So let's put our hope in the return of Jesus, not just the return of normal. And if we do that, I think we're going to weather every storm that comes our way. Can we do that together? Let's do that together.